I picked up the Pocket 2 Creator Combo from DJI. And if you don't know what this little thing is, it's basically a camera that fits in your pocket that you can take anywhere and it actually gives you some pretty decent footage. So rather than ramming a review out the door, I wanna be able to use it a little bit and actually know what I'm talking about. But for now, I want to show you just a little bit of the footage and uh, it's actually pretty impressive. And one of the things I wanted to concentrate and show you some comparisons of is how it performs in low light, specifically at night. Now, I don't know how much you're gonna be using this thing at night, but it's nice to know that it can actually perform in a pinch. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's some footage, well, not from the Pocket 2, but from my GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I just wanted to show you a comparison between the GoPro and this new Pocket. And here's the Pocket. As you can see, quite a dramatic difference, both in image quality as well as image stabilization. So here they are side by side to show you the differences. And of course, this GoPro is a few years old now, but just to show you how far we've come in just a few short years is pretty incredible. And for me, for shooting at night here on auto, it looks pretty darn good. Now there are a few settings to take note of. This is a vlogging style camera and it does have the option to face track, which is great. However, unfortunately it's gonna come at the cost of using it in the highest quality. It's something called battery saver mode, which you see here. Now, anytime you don't need the face tracking, I suggest you turn on high quality mode. And this is what that's gonna look like. Quite a big difference and a higher bit rate, so you're gonna have a lot more detail, less noise, especially in the shadows. Let me know what your thoughts are on the low light capabilities of this camera, and do keep in mind the size and the sheer convenience of it. I think we've come a long way and I'm pretty excited to test this more thoroughly. Is it enough to use as an A-cam? Well, probably not for most, but for some people, you can absolutely get away with it. Keep in mind that with the Creator Combo, it also comes with a wide angle lens attachment, which looks like this. It takes your footage from a 20 millimeter equivalent to a 15 millimeter equivalent, which is great for getting everything in the shot. So my favorite thing about this camera so far is that you can literally take it anywhere. It's that convenient. Always make sure that it's nice and secure though. Now that you've seen that it's capable at night, you're still most likely gonna be shooting mostly in the day. To get the most out of this little camera and to get off of auto mode, I really suggest that you pick up a set of neutral density filters, which is totally gonna take your footage to the next level. I find that right out of the box, it always wants to overexpose things just a little. And yes, it does have some slow motion capabilities. Overall, I think it's a really fun camera to use. And as long as you know its limitations, it can be a really great tool for capturing some really interesting footage. It also does time lapses, hyper lapses, and of course it can take pictures up to 64 megapixels. I will be including all these things in my full in-depth review, so do keep an eye out for that. If there's anything special that you'd like to see, make sure you let me know down in the comments as well. So what did you think about the performance of this little guy? Let me know down in the comments. And there's a few things that I'm really liking about this thing. One is just the sheer speed and convenience. And you press the button and that's it, it's ready to go. So about a second, it's ready to shoot. The, as you saw, the, the footage is super stable. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. And that mechanical gimbal is just gonna be phenomenally stable. It really doesn't compare to something like the GoPro with electronic image stabilization, as you saw. If you're ready to pick it up, if you wanna buy it, I'll drop affiliate links down there as well. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.